Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. I feel like I am the last person on Earth to get my Teddy Bees box, but there is a little bit of a story, and if you watched Lori Brown's video, her box destroyed. Well, not super destroyed, but it was pretty destroyed. My box? I came home from work, and sitting on my porch was my Teddy Bees box that looked like it, like, quote-unquote from Lori, went through a monsoon, and it was in a plastic Ziploc bag, a huge one. I opened the bag, I tried to take the cardboard off, I could twist the cardboard, and water was dripping out of it. I was so upset, I waited so long, and I posted a photo on the Facebook group to see if anybody else had that experience, and Tiffany messaged me, or she said, message me. I did. She sent a brand new box out ASAP. That, right there, shows customer service, and she felt so bad because, for one, USPS is just a joke, and two, because it was my first order, and, you know, she didn't want me to have a bad experience, and, guys, like, that right there shows amazing customer service. So, here's the box with the little crumbles, or the little squiggly worms. There's the Teddy Bee's business card, and then... My cats. There's a little note that says, I hope this one makes it to you dry. I taped the box up extra, extra tight. Thank you for the wonderful order. Love, Tiff. Now, I so appreciate this. Again, she did not have to do that, but it was incredible that she did. I'm going to put some of these worms to the side here. And yeah, so I'm super excited about this order. That held nothing against ever ordering again. I mean, she has it ready to ship on the 20th, and this came beforehand, so makes it even better. So now I can see what I want for the ready to ship. Here's the box, and it looks like there's three samples on top, and I think that's because my order got lost. Or not lost, but damaged. The first one is Pink Moon. It's like this gray wax. Let's see. Ooh. Pink chiffon, maybe? And like, is it lavender? Maybe a little bit of peppermint? I'm not 100% sure, but that's really yummy. And now Tiffany's wax, Teddy Bee's, is, I've heard, some of the softest wax you've ever seen, and which makes it super creamy. But one thing to add, her wax sells out so fast. So this was an eight week turnaround time pre-order. I ordered this, I think it was like the first week of September and it just came now. Granted, I had that accident, but anyway, her wax is super hard to get. So like this ready to ship, chances are things are gonna sell out super fast. This video I'm filming today, which is Friday, it's gonna upload on Monday. I, hopefully, fingers crossed if you're watching this video, I got everything on my list. I have a list of a ton of things that I want to try, new scents including, and now I'm so excited this is going to debate whether I get it in a sand, in a chunk bag or a loaf, is the I Heart Vanilla Spiced Apples. This scent she talked about on her Facebook and said it was amazing, and this is I Heart Vanilla blended with juicy apples, cinnamon, clove, and vanilla bean. Well, I'm not sure what her I Heart vanilla scent is, but I assume it's like a creamy vanilla. So I'm popping it out. Oh, this is nice. Oh yeah. It is like a creamy, creamy apple. And I feel like apple and vanilla isn't really super, super common. It's like apple cinnamon or apple, you know, bakery, where this is apple and vanilla. That's really nice. I think I'm going to pop this in my bathroom tonight, because it's just a little size to see and debate on what I want to do tomorrow. The next one is Cupcake by the Campfire, Cupcakes at Tiffany's, Blueberry Sugar, Marshmallow Fireside, and a Hint of Pine. Sounds really interesting. I love Cupcakes at Tiffany's. So like, see, these are these are kind of hard to... Oh, this one's like... Holy crap. Typically, because her wax is soft, they pop right out. Oh, boom. Got it. Surprisingly, I pick up a lot on the pine. The cupcake, a little creaminess, like a creamy, like, rich vanilla bakery scent. And then, what is the other one? Blueberry sugar. Mmm. I'm not getting a lot of any blueberry scent or, like, pink sugar. These kind of are hard to smell because they're small samples, but 
it's nice. It's like a creamy bakery scent. And I definitely pick up on pine. It's like a pine bakery. All right. So we'll start small and work our way up. So I did get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight souffles. So let's dive into it. All right, the first souffle that I have is in Winter Farmhouse, and this is sugarcane, rosemary, blue spruce, teakwood, sweet mint, palo santo, and light florals. I was so, so excited about this one, and it looks just like this. So it's a very pretty, like, green... Now, I'm very, very picky about, like, souffles and getting them all messed up before I cut them, so I'm not popping them out of the tray. I definitely pick up on like a very green scent. So maybe the rosemary and the blue spruce. It's very fresh. And like very crisp air. And okay, as crazy as this sounds, the name Winter Farmhouse, it kind of like, if you're in a barn or like in a farmhouse that's like very, very clean wood, it's cool outside. Snow on the ground. Well, that smells really good. I didn't expect to like that one as much as I did. It does remind me of like being out on a farmhouse in the winter. That's, that's crazy. I know that sounds like cliche, but that's what it smells like. The next one, oh, I was so excited about this one. This one is The Long Farewell, and this is Palo Santo, Twilight Woods, Pink Sugar, with a hint of lavender and vanilla. I love Palo Santo. Twilight Woods is a uh, dupe for Bath and Body Works. Oh, that's pretty. It's like this light purple with a little bit of blue. Micah. Oh, that's nice. I definitely, definitely pick up on Twilight Woods, for sure. Pink sugar just makes it, like, super sweet and girly. Oh, Twilight Woods is amazing. Twilight Woods, it's like a body care, like, woody scent. A little bit perfumey. I don't pick up on much lavender or vanilla. Oh, my God. The kid really just knocked herself into the TV. Then we have Salem. And this is Gala Apples, Fraser Fir, Fig, Mahogany, and Cedarwood. This smells like the autumn candle from Bath and Body Works. This is a dupe for the autumn candle. Oh, I love the autumn candle. I didn't know that. I would never have known. I guess apple, cedarwood, fig, Fraser fir. I mean, it is kind of like a description for. I can't with them. It is kind of like. It is like a dupe for sweater weather. Like it or not sweater weather. Um. Autumn. It's really yummy. Next we have I Smell Fall, and this one is Cider Lane, Pecan Waffles, and Marshmallow Fireside. I love Cider Lane. Oh my god, okay, this is super yummy. It's like this light brown with glitter. Okay, I already know I need this in a loaf. Her Cider Lane is the, is the dupe for Bath & Body Works, so it's not like a certain other vendor's Cider Lane that smells nothing like it. Mixed with the pumpkin pecan waffles, makes it like baked and yummy, creamy caramel apple with rich, buttery waffles. I don't get much marshmallow fireside, but to me, I really don't ever pick that out in blends. Oh my god, that's yummy. Next, we have Winterfell, which I was also really excited debating on in a loaf. Marshmallow fireside, palo santo, white birch, Icy Snow, and Vanilla. And it's mainly because of the white birch, and look how pretty this souffle is. It's pure white with some glitter, a little streak of white wax, and then some snowflakes. Oh! Uh, if you remember the Homeworks white birch candle, that smells like this. That, like, really, really crisp winter air. To me, the white birch oil smells like winter. Like, straight up winter. Not the winter candle, like, what winter is captured in a scent. Oh my god, that's so yummy. It is. It's like crisp, fresh winter air. Love. Next, <clears throat> we have the Beautiful Creatures, and this is Pecan Waffles, Palo Santo, and Vanilla Milk. 
And this also came in like pristine condition. Condition. This one actually feels kind of lit now. Okay. The vanilla milk note I definitely am picking up on and I'm not the biggest fan of. It's kind of like, like that sugar milk scent which kind of smells like sour milk. But mixed with the pecan waffles and the Palo Santo, those notes are much stronger. And it's also cold outside, so, hmm, it's nice though. I really like, I like the woodiness of the Palo Santo blended with pumpkin pecan waffles, because that's just like something you would never think to mix together, because Palo Santo is so fresh and woody and earthy and delicious. And then the last souffle I got, nope, lied is the Riverlands. This is Palo Santo, Cool Mountain Air, Balsam Patchouli, Crisp Melon, Cedar, Crunchy Leaves, and Sandalwood. You guys know I love your Palo Santo. I got all the Palo Santo blends. Oh my god. This. Okay, the first thing I smell is like, it's like wet. Like wet tree. Like it's so funny, like, I hear the name The Riverlands, and that's what I'm picturing, like, wet forest. Like, after you get into a forest, after it's been pouring down rain, and you smell, like, the dirty, earthy ground. <sighs> okay. This might need a loaf. Wow. I've never smelled anything like that. That is amazing. It smells like a wet, like a rainforest. That's amazing. The last souffle is Beach Treats, and this is Vanilla Marshmallow, Whipped Cream, White Magnolia, Dark Chocolate Orchid, and Driftwood. Our version of BBW's Beach Nights. And I know Danny from Danny Love Lacks loves this one. She says it's literally like her favorite version of Beach Nights. Oh, that's nice. It's sweet, sugary, marshmallow, and then you do get like, what does it say, magnolias and... Like, but don't let that scare you and think it's a floral, because the magnolia kind of brings out and kind of makes it like a candied marshmallow. So, to me, when I smell this, I picture the most fluffy, frothy cup of white hot chocolate. Not, not dark chocolate or milk chocolate, white chocolate. With like, sugared flower petals on the top. That's what this smells like. Like a delicious warm drink that's sweet and also like super fruity and a little bit floral wow that's yummy and i want to try some blends that i did not order but now that i'm smelling these i think i need to go in for even more all right next i'm going to put these away and we're going to move on to the chunk bags is the haunted bakery and these guys are some pretty big chunks and i do remember in her facebook group talking about the chunks this time were bigger than the last time but all you can do is chop them up it's the same amount of weight and this is zucchini bread buttercream frosting and pecan pralines i think i'm gonna love this one i love zucchini bread i love pecan and buttercream frosting and praline just sounds amazing and what they look like. So I would probably chop this in half. Oh, that's yummy. And these are super thick bags. I love a good thick bag for wax. Oh, her zucchini bread is super creamy. Like really rich, creamy, slightly spiced, but not spicy. The pecan pralines in here and the buttercream frosting just add this warm, ooey gooey, rich sweetness to that. That's delectable. Yum. Yum. Love a good bakery. Now this one is Peach Cobbler Circus Cookies. And this is Frosted Circus Sugar Cookies blended with Decadent Peach Cobbler. This smells just like a peach cobbler. Like, just like peach cobbler. Oh my god. Kind of like, like, you definitely get more of like, the rich, like, buttery peach with like, the oatmeal streusel topping. Like, you picture it all. I don't necessarily, Frosted Circus Sugar Cookies, I know she uses that in a lot of blends. 
I don't know if I've ever seen it offered by itself. This is my first order, but I do want to try that scent all on its own to see like what it's like, just even like in a souffle, just to smell it. But that's yummy. It's like a really true decadent peach. Next, 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 we have Vanilla Balsam. I love the Bath & Body Works one, and it didn't come back this year. This is Balsam Fur, Frosted Vanilla, and Snow-Capped Pine. Yep, this is it. It's like the best Christmas tree scent, because you get so much vanilla, like, so much vanilla, and then, like, a drop of Christmas tree, which is perfect for me, because I like... Christmas tree, but as you know, like, it's not my favorite scent. I like it during that time of year, but vanilla balsam, honestly, the way that that's blended smells just like the candle, you could melt that all year. It's so good. Pumpkin peanut brittle. Pumpkin roasted peanuts caramel brittle. Bath and Body Works type. This is another candle that did not come back this year. It kind of smells like plastic. Like burnt plastic. Maybe is that the roasted peanut? I don't I don't think I've ever smelled pumpkin peanut brittle from Bath and Body Works, but this smells like burning plastic. That's weird. Mm -mm. No. Okay, well. I won't be getting any more of that. I was really excited for it, but it smells like burning plastic. That's weird. And then the last chunk bag I got is in Bad Santa, and this is Vanilla Birch, Fireside, and Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. I think I'm gonna love this. It's light. I was expecting it to be stronger. It's like this gray wax with uh, red splatter. It's nice though. Fireside, I was expecting it to be like, knock you out of the house strong on Fireside. But it's not. It's definitely more mellow on the fire side. And then, just a hint of Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. I definitely smell it in there. In there. In there. And then the Vanilla Birch. Kind of just, it's like that typical, like, woodsy, smoky vanilla. It's really nice. I really, I just, I hope it's 928 it says it was poured on, so... It's had enough cure time, so I'll have to pop it in the warmers and see. And I do know, I've read a lot online that says Teddy B's, it's better um, with less is more. And then the last, I ordered two loaves. The first one I knew I needed to have, and it is Christmas Trees and Cream, Fresh Pine Boughs, Vanilla Sugar Waffle Cone, and Rich Vanilla Buttercream. Now, I'm not sure how much of a difference this is compared to Vanilla Balsam, but I guess, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. So this is the loaf. And it's already basically separated from the tin, so I'll pull it out so it looks like this. It has, like, the white... Oh, that's nice. Okay. Vanilla balsam, you can definitely tell it's a Christmas tree with tons of vanilla. This, you can tell, like, you can tell it's more, like, baked vanilla. Like, like a vanilla bakery, like a baked good mixed with Christmas tree. And I will say, on my list, in chunk bags, is the uh, crushed candy cane and Christmas trees and cream, because I just think that combo sounds amazing. And now that I smell this, yes. And then this. From the first time I ever heard of Teddy B's to every hall in the world, Surfside Sweet Shop. Now, the notes are literally not anything out of this world crazy. Birthday cake, marshmallow cream, butter cookies, cake batter, and beach nights. But I just think the name Surfside Sweet Shop sounded just beyond incredible. Oh, that's nice. I definitely smell the beach nights. Let's see if I can pop it out of the tin. Yep, so it's just blue. But I definitely smell the beach nights. I love her loaves. I do get a little bit of salty sea air that's not super strong. Yeah, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a sweet... I would not classify this as a beachy scent at all. It's almost just like a... like a rich... baked... with a little bit of sweet. Like... like salty sea air. 
There's not even Salty Sea Air in this. Hmm. Maybe that's my mind playing tricks on me, thinking like it's salty. Unless that's from like the birthday cake and the butter cookies. Yeah, I'll have to melt this and see. Um, it's kind of just like a blender scent for me. I don't really, nothing stands out to me. I guess I was expecting more. But anyway, that was my Teddy Bees haul. I'm super excited to let this stuff cure, pop it in the warmers, definitely participating in her ready to ship on Monday. But let me know if you guys have tried Teddy Bees. What are your favorites? What do I need to pick up the next round? I watched everybody who's made a hauls video so far. I think I just have two more to watch. Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell on the bottom. That way you're alerted every time I upload here on YouTube. I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you and make it a better world. Bye.